Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, we're back inside of No Man's Sky. We're back inside of the Adrift um, expedition. I've just gone inside the building at Rendezvous 2 or 3. <laughs> Here we go. The life form that works or worked on the installation left its equipment scanning the skies for interesting new systems and special phenomena. Phenomena! Bum, bum, na, na, na. Phenomena! <laughs> In its absence, it stuck, struck gold. A beacon has been received and a transmission sequence awaits a response. One, two, one, two, two, one, two, two one. Oh, OK, well, it'd be two, one, two. Uh, yeah, that'd be that one. Boom. Done. I discovered a location within the distant stars. It's like a little mini IQ test, isn't it? Love it. OK, anyway, got myself a Captain Steve's brew. I guess. In my lovely merch mug, people. Yeah, shameless plug of my tea and my mug in one! Well, that is nice, though. That is nice. Okay, so you may have seen there, it popped up down at the bottom that I've got one of... I've got nine of twelve waypoints detected now. You know I've been hitting up these little pylons for um, the navigational data. Well, actually, that's been going in my favour. I'm trying to spot the little pylon amongst all of these freaking comms balls right now, people. Oh, there it is, over there. Okay, so let's go hit up this one. And let's see if that registers as another. I don't know where we've already hit it. I might have done. I'm in the habit of hitting them. I'll open these little boxes as well. Because if I go on to here, option and then into Expedition, and I'm on Phase 3, you know, I'm actually on Phase 4. OK, so there we go. Chart 9 of 12 waypoints right now. OK, well, it's quite easy to find these sort of like little beacons and waypoints. I think maybe going to that one that we just hit up from that console is going to give us one anyway. So we'll fly over there. But as I'm flying there, I mean, how long is it going to take? Oh, it's off planet. Great. All right, we'll go off planet then anyway. I don't really like this massive hilly planet as it is. So I'll see you when I get to this waypoint and then we'll find some more waypoints. Yeah, well, I think an ancient ruin is going to count as a waypoint, but we'll see because it says 9 of 12 right now. Let's see if this jumps up to 10 of 12 after we land at said waypoint. But I don't think the ancient ruins have got a save beacon there. I don't think think that overly matters too much. Let's uh, land. Oh god, I've landed right on it, haven't I? Jesus. Okay, I hope this isn't national heritage or something. Okay, anyway, let's um let's go hit this up then. Let's do uh, memories of the past, shall we people? Okay. Yeah, it's just the start of the geck, the geck sort of Law. I've done all the Gek lore. If you're interested in the Gek lore, um, I have got a whole playlist on lore. I put the playlist of lore up there if I remember. If not, I'm sure you can find it on my channel. In fact, I think it's one of the pinned ones, you know, on my channel page. I think I've got the actual playlist there for all the lore. If you're a lore buff and you want lore, that's a place for you. Okay, right. So now we've got another waypoint. I don't know whether my waypoint count has gone up, hitting this place up, but it should have done, technically, because I have just cleared it off my waypoint list. But as you can see, there's no save beacons here. A couple of knowledge stones. I'm just going to run around a little bit, just, just in case it registers or doesn't register or whatever. Get in my ship. Ah, uh, OK. Recharge my launch thrusters. Take to the skies. Well, that didn't actually count as a waypoint. You see there? It was like nine of whatevers. So as I'm flying over, I'm just going to do a scan every now and again and fly over to any unknown buildings. I guess they have got to have... Oh, a save point marker. This one has got a beacon. We'll land there then. Hello. Fudge and heck, I'm getting sneaky with these landings, aren't I? Let's go hit this one up. There you go, 10 of 12, that one registered. Okay. Take to the skies. Carry on to my um, lovely Dubri, which is over this way now. And just keep hitting the scanner every now and again. No, oh, there's another one over there. Let's go over there then. Let's see what we've found. Ha ha ha! There's another one. 
land there. I'm just going to do this all the way over to the, um, the actual relic site. Well, I think this is going to be 11 of 12 anyway, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. That's 11 of 12. All right, fine. Get back in my ship. I've got one more to do. I was going to cut the footage and, you know, but you know what? Might as well just carry on, might I know. Considering I'm only like 30 seconds away from the relic site. And I think I've just spotted my third and final one here. I mean, you're, not, you're normally this lucky to find them. Okay, this is a depot. I could get shot in the face by sentinels here. I'm going to have to be a bit careful. Okay. Not the face! Please, not the face! I mean, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference to this face. I mean, let's face it. Haha! <laughs> How many times have I said face this episode? You could turn this into a drinking game, couldn't you? Actually, don't, because that would be rather horrendous, wouldn't it? Okay, there we go. Hit that one up. Is that going to count? I think it has, hasn't it? There we go. We can pop that then. Oh, I'm gliding for some reason. I'm doing some sort of Michael Jackson stuff across the landscape. I, that's not me doing that. That's the game. Okay, right. Well, we've got all that stuff. I don't want to continue drifting or else I'll end up in that cave. Okay, done. Excellent day. Right, uh, what's next then on the old menu? Earn 1,600 nanites. Okay, then. All right, well, uh, okay. Um, brilliant. Um, I've already got some stuff on the bake right now. Let's put some more carbon in there. Uh, right, so we've got that. All right, well, let's um, let's get that turning into viscous fluid. And then the viscous fluid we put into there, and hopefully it goes to runaway mould or living slime. And then the living slime goes to runaway mould. Then the runaway mould will go into nanite. It's going to take a long time to do that. We've also got a shed load of um, little mini egg things. Hold on. Can I put this down as well? I can if I've got a metal plating. I'm sure I can make a metal plating. Let's make a metal plating then. And let's put that down. Okay. Now if I go over to this. And I put a little bit of carpet in there. And if I go down. I've got a shed load of these things. I've got ten of them. Look. I've got, I've got loads of them. I'll spin those into nanites. There we go. We've got 500. Chicka power. And I've got some more of them. That's going to give me a thousand. And I think we're done. <laughs> Brilliant, eh? Okay, alright. There we go. Well, that was easy. Um, hopefully you guys can find it as easy to do as that. I'm just standing by a Sentinel Depot right now. Um, that's probably going to be upsetting them somewhat. So I'm just going to go sit in my ship while we pop this set of rewards, peeps. Okay. Done. Okay, coolio. Brilliant. Okay. Lovely. Got lots of lovely things there. Okay, so can we install some of this stuff? Oh, that's that's the Minotaur stuff that I've had sitting about for a while. I worry about installing things a bit later because, yeah, I haven't got a lot of this stuff actually sitting here right now, have I? No, I don't. Oh, they're, there, that's where they put them. Okay, so this is going to be for that. And this is going to go into here and probably break stuff. Yes. So now I've got to see which is the best one. Core health, solar panels, life support tanks. That's got four on it. That one's got three on it. That one's only got two. There we go. That, that, that made the decision. I didn't really look at the stats. You know, I might have deleted a better one. I don't really care. Right, let's go into here. And we've got to discover five ancient ruin sites. Oh, apparently I've already done two of five, so that's okay. And you can deploy a signal booster. All right, fair enough. Well, anyway, I've got, funny enough, that's what I was heading to, isn't it? A relic site. So that was kind of handy and dandy for me. Hopefully you guys have got relic sites locked into your crosshairs. But, you know, I'm going to head on over here. I'll see you when I get there, people. Right, well, I've arrived, Kated. Uh, let's see if this goes up as soon as I get to the site or whether I've actually got to dig up the chest. Because I dug up a chest like in episode one or two, didn't I? Okay, so it looks like you have to actually dig up the chest. Now, I dug up the chest mainly because I wanted to get myself... Oh, I haven't got the uh, terrain manipulator installed in this multi-tool. 
Oh, that's a bit silly, isn't it? Okay, well, let's let's see if I can get it out the other multi-tool quickly. Swap a decay to multi-tools. Did that just swap my multi-tool? It didn't, did it? There we are. Go into here, and I want to package that out. Storage technology. Stick it in there. And then I want to swap my multi-tool for that one, please. And then I want to install the cake this in there. Fun times. Right, here we go. Let's start the digging. Yeah, I uh, found one of these in my... God, my first episode. It was 50% charged when I moved the dang thing. Oh, yeah. Little lunchbox there. And yeah, I got a load of units for doing so. I mean, I say load. I didn't get much, to be fair, did I? But yeah, I wasn't lucky. I didn't get gold. Let's see if we get gold at this one, people. Right, girls. So, in the rarity platform, you've got blue, which is like the most common. And you've got like um, a purple that's slightly rarer. And then you've got like um, the yellows, or the golds as I call them. Which is super rare and super worth loads of money. So let's hope we get a gold one, eh? Okay, here we go. Or at the very least, purple. Pepe, pepe, pepe. Yeah, right. Now I'm looking for a chest icon. There it is. Right there. Let's go dig that up. Make my beam a bit bigger. There we go. Chicka pow. Chicka boom. Chicka dam. Oh, we've got a pepper. Oh, we've got a pepper. That's not too bad. We've got pepper. Brilliant. Cool, yeah. Okay, right. Well, let's head back out of here then. There's my lovely shipley ship. Now, it does say to deploy a signal booster. And we're going to locate a ruin. We're going to use a surge battery and find a ruin. It's lovely how this thing knows exactly what I'm after. Okay, cool. That's located me one. Over on yonder hill. It's found me an ancient plaque, apparently. Okay, right. Let's go to the ancient plaque. Cool. So I guess it's any old monolith that registers as being... Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. I'm dying out here. Yeah, cool. I'll take to the skies. Zoom. Ooh. It's right there. Yeah, okay. that was that was a bit quicker than I expected it to be. It's a bit warm on this planet, I have to say. Yeah, right, there we go. As I touch the obelisk images of the planet's ancient past, flood my mind. This isn't new lore that does this on every single one of these. Cool. Yeah, it's the Gek Firstborn. Wow, okay. Uh, seek knowledge of the past, please. Cool. And that should find me another relic site. Daisy chain these things together. Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom. Okay. So we're heading over there, I take it. Where's my shippity ship? There it is. Come on, my little tube of awesomeness. I say that, it's it's really not, is it? It's probably the most hideous ship since ships begun. Yeah, it's flying over this way. I mean, it doesn't look aerodynamic at all. It doesn't look like it would survive entering into the atmosphere of any planet. Hardy looks flight worthy. Okay, yeah, there we go. We've arrived, located at another ancient ruin site. Okay. Wonder if this is going to count. I don't think it counted the last one, even though I dug up the blinking chest, did it? Okay. Yeah. Right, let's, uh, let's do it again then. I'll dig up these little boxes, then I'll reconvene when I open the big one. How's that? Okay, people, here I am at the last chest. Let's open it. Chicka boom, chicka power. Unlock occasion, I'm on now. And what do I get? Oh, I just got a, a common. Yeah, all right, fine. Okay, Um, I don't think that even counted. All right, fine. I'll put down one of these in. Yeah, it didn't. Didn't do it again. Fun times. What's going to find me this time, people? Inside the view of us. Is it going to be a monolith? No. Alien artifact. Detectamencated. Over on yonder hill. 
Okay, we'll get that locked in then. Pick this back up. Yeah, don't forget to take your removable tech with you. It's removable for a reason, people. You can reuse it over and over again. Otherwise, you're going to be spending resources like no tomorrow. Okay, and we're on our way. Uh, that's a long way. All right. Well, if it is a long way, head on up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear and where there's no freaking clouds, spin it around, lock it back on, and engage your pulse engines. Zoom. Zoom across the stars. And get there in no time at all. There you go. Time-saving tip from Captain of the Steves. Yeah, I didn't say I don't give you things. Free people in a few of us. Yeah, in the olden days, there used to be helplines for tips like this. Yeah. Used to be not a cheap call either. I'm looking at 30p a minute back then. Which is quite a lot of money back then, to be fair. Okay, right. Have I just landed directly on the freaking ruin? I think I have. Have I gone and landed on the thing I wanted to interact with? I think I have. Okay. Alright, well there we go. Destination reached. Okay. I don't think these dig sites are actually registering as relics. I could be wasting a bit of time here, but I do like digging up treasure. So, you know, might as well. It's earning me a couple of freaking units while I'm doing it, isn't it? Okay, so that's four or five done. Okay, well, I'm going to fly over there. I'm going to get the treasure. And I'll reconvene when I'm opening the chest. How's that? I mean, it does get me, though, that this actual mission says find alien ruins. And this actually has the word ruins in its freaking title. But for whatever reason, it doesn't count as being an alien ruin. Go figure. Very weird. Okay, anyway, I'll dig up the... Uh, keys i reconvene in a bit look see it says there alien ruin four or five didn't count this one bizarre destination reached still didn't tally ah. well chums I, I dug up some keys but then i noticed that there's other holes dug here not by me it looks like somebody else has already been here this chap yeah greetings from luxembourg i think he nicked the chest now yeah, the chest, there's no chest icon. <laughs> there's no chest icon. So, oh, oh, okay, fine. All right, well, um, that was fun. Okay, cool, right, let's, uh, yes. <laughs> I've, I've got multiplayer off and everything, so I, I don't know how that works, but there we are. Okay. I, it look, looks like I haven't got a surge battery. Um, I didn't even know I needed surge. I've been doing it all this, okay, I've got to make one of those. Okay, fine, there you go. I didn't know I was using them. <laughs> I must have had an abundance of them from rewards or something, because I haven't crafted one before. Okay, there we go. We found another alien artifact. This should be the last of them. Yeah, I'm not going to waste my time digging up any more relics, because, you know, that was a proper waste of my time, that, that the third and last one. Yeah. Okay, right, anyway. Let's go! Sweet! And uh, we're using quite a lot of launch thruster fuel as well. Okay, well this is only, what, 20 minutes away? But if I go up through the atmosphere, use that little tip again. But don't go too far, because that's not hours away, it's just 20 minutes away. Okay, fair enough. Looks like it's around the other side of the planet. Lovely little bit of lightning there in an old nebulae. Let's fly on down then. Put boots on the ground and hopefully pop this badge, people inside the view of us. Come on, come on little ship, you can do it. Yeah, go on. Okay. Here we are. Okie dokie. I'm going to try not to land on it. Actually, I'm going to land on it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Saves a little bit of walking. Well, I'm just going to jump over my ship now. Let me out. Are you going to register that I'm here? Destination reached. There we go. And you know what? I'm just going to ask for language this time. I'm not going to go and dig up another treasure. There you go. Okay, we're done. We're done it. We're done it, people. Boom! Heck yes! Discover five lost relics. I found them! Because I died. Yeah, right. Next. Oh, okay. It's given us some bits and bobs, has it? Well, we'll stick that in there then. Boom. What about if I put it there? No, no, no. It's not doing anything, is it? And we get this for underwaterness, so we can live underwaters. Okay, cool. Done. 
Oh, look, we've got a gold Viking reports. Oh, that's good. Okay, right. So we're now going to go and harvest 12 crystal sulfide. Okay. Okay, right. So now we need to go to the oceans. Come on. Let me in my ship. It's weird how sometimes it doesn't let you in your ship, isn't it? I think this planet has water on it. I just need to go up into the atmosphere. Up where the air is clear. Zoom. Turn around to look at the old planet. And we'll see if we can spot oceans on it. Oh, there's a massive swave of ocean right there. Okay, we'll go back down. Zoom. Through the cloud barrier. Out towards the sea. And we've just got to hope that we can find a little island to nestle on. And hopefully we can go for a dive. Well, this one looks quite good. It's like in the shape of some sort of weird big-headed... Oh, like a rabbit. It's like a rabbit island. Island of the rabbit. I'm going to land where its eye should be. There you go. Kaboom. Right, Rabbit Island. Thank you very much. I'm going to dive into the oceans and see if we can find it. Painfully hot rain. Nice. Imagine a weather forecast that says that, peeps, inside the view of us. Anyway, let's dive on in. Oh, look at this. Who lives in the pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, okay. There's some right there. That's what we're looking for. See there? Crystallized sulphide. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, now you've got to be careful how you grab this because these things shoot out massive gas plumes. You see how it's vibrating? Swim away. Okay, it's going to do its thing like that. And then you can go back again and grab the others. Have you? I think there's three per thing. There's one around there. There we go. Done. We've got three off of that one. Right. Um. It's not helping me with the sweep scan of that anymore, anyhow. Right, cool, right. We're going to go grab this, which is going to give us oxygen. Yeah. So we can stay underwater a little bit longer. Might as well scan these fish. Hold on, I'll scan those fish. Scan all these fish. Might as well. It would give you nanites, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, if, if you're still stuck on getting nanites, I should say... It, by now, with all the scanning you've been doing, if you go to your Discoveries page, yeah, and go back a level and hit this little button here, it's going to upload everything that you've scanned to date. Let's see how many nanites I get just for doing that. 771 nanites. There you go. So if you're stuck on the nanites badge in here, there's another way to get yourself a freaking crud ton of them. All right, let's go over here then. Zoom. And G.I. Joe was swimming underwater. G.I. Joe, he wonders where bubbles are coming from. I'm going to grab that. That was from a, an Eddie Murphy sketch from when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I found that hilarious. Mainly because I had G.I. Joe. And I used to play with them in the bath. So I knew exactly what Eddie Murphy was on about. I could totally relate. Okay, right, cool. Let's go on over here. And I think that's what makes good comedy, isn't it? Being able to relate to it. Anyway, there's quite a lot of these things to get. I think you know now what you're looking for and how to go about doing this quest. And I've told you about these oxygen plants, haven't I, to keep yourself alive so you don't drown a Kate. So I'm just going to collect these ones and then I'll be with you when I collect the last one. Okay, Jams, well, I'm about to get the last one. Might as well get this kelp sack while we're waiting. Recharge the old oxygen. And zoom around here. Grab that one. We're done. I guess we can get out of this ocean. Brilliant. Have I scanned all the creatures? Oh, there's a creature just over there. I might as well get scan him. There's a little crab. There you go. Right over. Well, let's um, head back to the old shippity ship. Where did I put my shippity ship? No, oh, it's all the way over here. No, oh, it's done. It's just swam in a free 60, didn't I? Back to Rabbit Island we go. And then I'll pop the badge when I get there. Okay, well, let's collect the reward there. Okay, we've got marine shelter plans. Mm. We've got more underwater missions to do then. I haven't really taken much interest, to be fair. We've got loads of base parts. We can make ourselves a sea life centre if we wished. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, what else we got then? Visit the su a sunken freighter. Okay, it means I've got to create a Nautilan. 
Well, I'm on a planet that has got deep oceans. I'm fairly sure we've got the deep oceans right here. Right here! Okay, right. Well, I've got to put down a Nautilum Bay. And I don't think I've got everything I need to put down a Nautilum Bay. I need salt and I need metal plating. Well, you can get salt inside of the oceans anyway. So if I just pop down here, I'm fairly sure I'm going to be able to find salt. If I just scan a few things, it should come up with salt as being a byproduct of said thing. Mm, ba -da -ba -ba. I'm just got to keep scanning until I find salt. Carbon. Right. What about you? Okay. It's just proving. Oh, there we go. Salt. Primary element. Okay. So here we go. Now, the only thing is, is when you're mining stuff. Oh, fudge in heck. Okay, all right. Um, we're out of friggin' suit infantry space, aren't we? I'll get rid of the three keys. I don't really need them. Okay. You haven't laughed, mate. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, I'll get rid of one other thing then. Uh, i get rid of that. There we are. I think it just wanted to put ferrite dust somewhere, didn't it? Anyway, we've got a load of salt now. I'll shoot one more. When you are mining these, sometimes jellyfish come out and they attack you. And they're, they're quite lethal. So just be a little bit careful. All right. OK. Now I've got to make metal plating. And sadly, I need another free slot to do that. And I need five of them, right? Right. Well, I've got two. If I get a bit closer to my ship, I'm fairly sure I've got loads of ferrite dust in my ship. Because I've been shooting planets. OK. Can I make some more metal plating? Where's my metal plating go? Oh, I didn't make it. Okay, we've made two. Let's get over here then. A bit closer to my own ship. Because I'm fairly sure I've got loads of ferrite dust in my ship, haven't I? Oh, I haven't. Oh, great. Alright, well, we've got to shoot some rocks then. Now that's pure ferrite. It would be, wouldn't it? Ah, oh, when you when you just want normal blinking ferrite. There we go. That's some normal ferrite dust right there. We're going to have that. Okay, I'm just going to gather some ferrite dust, people, by shooting rocks, if I can find any. They're all big rocks on this bloody island. Okay, right, well, I've got the five metal plating, I've got the salt, I've got these things. I'm good now. I can put down my geo bay. Let's head on down to this lovely little bit of coast. I'm going to scan these creatures while I'm here. Have that, creatures. Okay, right, I'm heading over here then. And I will put down my geo bay. There we are. Used to be in water. Yes, I'm in water. Must be constructed underwater. Where do you think I freaking am? Okay, there we go. Right, there we are. And we're into the old Nautilus. Perfect view, as you can see. Then I've got to install this. Oh, dang it, I need a solar mirror. Ferrite dust. And I need a solar mirror. Can I craft a solar mirror? I can. What did I need? Gold and silver from shooting all the asteroids and some chromatic metal. It's lucky I don't go and sell a load of stuff, isn't it? Hopefully you guys haven't either. You never know what you need. That's the problem. And there we go. Done. Okay, now we've got the scanner. Now we can search for an underwater crashed freighter. It's been detecticated. Lovely. Right, well what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here and I'm going to delete that bay so I get all my resources back so I can use it later if needs be. Okay. And we've got our sunken freighter just over there. I say just over there. It's 16 minutes away. I'm going to use my ship to fly there rather than use the Nautilus to actually drive there. Because it takes a month for Sundays in the Nautilus. They're really slow. Um, if Hello Games is watching... I know that you've already upgraded them once to make them move a little bit faster. But even still, if you've got an Exomech, an Exomech moves quicker under the water than a Nautilus. And it's got no hazard protection um, issues either. It's, it's just far better to reverse the oceans in an Exomech than it is a freaking Nautilus. Just saying. Right, let's head on out of here. Oh, they're probably going to nerf the freaking exomech now that I've said that, aren't they? Dang it! I'm flying down here. Let's get to my little island. 
Ah, I wonder if I can actually land on this sunken hauler. Let's give it a go. Let's see if we can land on this top area here. Oh, coming in too hot. I've done it though. I am a good pilot. Even in a crud ship like this, I still managed to pull off the impossible. I mean, look at that landing. That's, that's freaking amazing. Okay, here we go. Sweet, swim on down. Dum 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 dum. And let's interact with this then, I guess. Now this might give us a bit of lore. Let's have a look. Log extraction complete. Read log. Day to stamp Lily Blanc. Life goes on day after day. Delivering after cause hope to go home soon. The life on cause is not one like me. Not for one like me. Data stamp. Multiple sentinel energy signatures detected. Requiring a meteorite concert. Dropping out of warp. I think this is normal law. I don't think this has anything to do with this expedition. I could be wrong. Okay. Fight in each of the sentinel ships and engage in each other. I think I've seen this before. Okay. Broadcast in 16 on repeat. Yeah, I, I, I do remember this. Okay, there we go. I don't think it's, it's not part of the law. For this expedition, it's part of the game lore that's always been there. Yeah, I put it in. There you go. I should have put some in technology, thinking about it. But, you know, it has been quite touchy with my storage, hasn't it? Okay, right. Okay. Extract salvage from a derelict freighter? Well, okay then. I think it's actually given me what I needed. Anyhow, so, okay. All right, where did I put my ship? Oh yeah, of course, I put it up here, didn't I? Ah. Emergency signal scanner. Oh, we got it already. Come on, swim up, swim up, swim up. Oh my days. Go on, you know you want to. All right, I've got to wait for my jetpack to charge back up again. Let's swim over to this and then fly up the edge. There we go. Into my ship. Flying on out to space. What's that brightly glowing red thing? Oh, it's just a light. Up for the atmosphere. Boom. Golio. Right, one second, people. Okay, Jum, so we got gifted this from the last thing. So we want to go tune signal. Okay, cool. And that means that it's now activated. And then I just want to pulse. And that should bring in my derelict freighter. Whenever it's ready. There we go. Now there is a little sort of like mini glitch here where you can save that beacon for another day if you really wanted to. Oh, yeah. But I'm not going to bother doing that. I think you only got to run one derelict freighter. And one's enough, to be honest. Now, these are procedurally generated. And they're procedurally generated in how hard they might be. I'm hoping this one's not going to be super duper hard. Um, some of them are really difficult. Some of them are a walk in the park. It's just sheer random chance. So going through these doors... Lovely. Interact with this thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there we go. Now, you can get some free stuff. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da Collect energy supplies. Okay. Great, thank you. And unseal doors. The only thing is, I forgot to do something. I, I should put as much stuff inside my ship as possible. So I'm just going to run back quickly. And I need to put a load of stuff from my inventory over into my ship storage. So over here. And I'm going to move a load of stuff over. I won't be a moment. Reason being is I want a lot of storage space. So whatever loot I get inside of here, I can actually loot. Yeah, so let's head on in and uh, let's start my little journey into evil. Right, so also there's this tub over here on the right-hand side. See this little blue box? If you open that, 
you're going to get yourself three repair kits. Now they're quite valuable. So there we go. If you hit up these and stand by them, it's going to help warm yourself. So yeah. But shooting stuff in here gets you loads of stuff. You're going to get loads of decent things in here. Right, if you do a little sweep like that, you're looking for this sort of stuff. Like logs and things. Remnants of the previous people that used to occupy said derelict freighter. You're going to get little snippets of lore as you go through this, but it's not related to this quest. So after you've seen it, you've seen them all, you know. And just do little scans every now and again. Make sure you're getting all of these. If you see this thing, that, that's actually a cannon in the ceiling there. If it detects you, it's going to shoot you. So be careful. Grab that. Sweet. Cool. We've actually got a staff entry there. So as we go further in, we're probably going to need that to unlock a certain area of the actual freighter or to get an actual reward or whatever. Might as well use my bolt caster or the scatter blaster for this thing. Okay, I'm going in then. Purple doors are your way forwards, people. So here we go. Let's head on in. Ah, okay, there's a crate there. I'll open that. Projectile ammo. Loads of crates. Make sure you loot stuff because you're going to find all sorts in here. Like lava core. Look at that. That's spin into nanites. Pretty darn lovely. Another one of these. Okay, there we go. Okay, we looted all of that. Stand by these to get your thermal protection back up. Okay, so that door there, those purple doors like that, that's kind of like um, like a, a little bit of a, a dead endy room or a, a room that's got like a, just some treasures in or whatever. That's the way back out. So I just want to go through this door here. This is kind of your way forward, I should say. Right, and down the ladder we go. Blue doors, if you see blue doors, they're sort of like um, the way that you need to go. Purple doors are like side rooms. Okay, okay, these things react to your movement. And if you move too much around them, they're going to pop. And you're going to get loads and loads of little horrible scutters everywhere. I've got quite unlucky with this freighter. Because it's got ceiling mounted cannons. It's got the little devils of evil that I hate. Those little scutters that hatch. Oh my days. There you go. There's one tablet there. I haven't missed any tablets. You can actually hear that if you've got your volume up in your ear you're all right but just walk very slowly and you shouldn't trigger them and if you do think you're going to trigger them just stand still for a little while okay right that's my way forward door and i don't think there's any purple doors here is there there's no side rooms of loot that i haven't missed and i've got all the tablets so far there's a big crate there Oh, no, there's another tablet there. Cool. I'll open that. Now, if there is a cabinet or something that's right next to one of these, it's like, see that cabinet over there? I'm, I'm not going to risk it. Or that little tub there. I might grab this one here. But don't do anything too risky, basically. There we go. We go through here. Lovely. Okay, well, there's a console. I've got to get to that. And there's a data tablet on that table right there. Let's try and get that without triggering this thing. Lovely. I think you get the idea, people. But, um, yeah. This is... This is... Freaking... Look at that. If I just stand still for a bit, it stopped beating. I've got to wait for that one to stop beating as well. There we go. Ah, this one's now moving. Okay, right. Oh, no. Fudge and heck. Okay, right. We've got an infestation breakout, people. Um, I'm going to get into the side door over here. Okay, so this is just a little treasure room. Okay, right. I think we're good. It says that there's one creature remaining out there. Um, take out these guys. 
Okay, right. There's one little scutter creature. Only one hatched. I think I, I was lucky there, people. And I can't even see him. In fact, he's gone. Phew. Now, my settings, actually, people. Maybe it's because of my settings. I put it down to here, didn't I? Space combat, none. And on foot combat, I put as none. I hope that doesn't affect me going through this freighter. We shall see, though. Well, that might be a bit of a godsend, to be honest, because th this this could be really difficult otherwise. Okay, right. I'm going to top up my hazard protection. Interact with this. Insert the crew manifest. Sweet. There you go. Update bioscan. Sweet. You are getting a little bit of lore there of what happened to these people. But you can kind of get the gist of it. It's going to be the pretty much the same thing for every single one of these freighters. They came to their demise, basically. You never find any alive NPCs in any of these, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, now, if you're a bit lost, like I am right now, if you go into camera mode... It stops your hazard protection from going down. We've already been in there. That's where I took refuge. And that's the blue door I think I opened when I first come in here, isn't it? I didn't come from this way, I don't believe. Let's just have a look around if there is any other doors that I've missed. I think I came in through here, didn't Or did I? Oh, no. I think I've got to go down that level. So maybe I came in through that other blue door. So I'm here right now. I just need to go to my left and go down that ladder. Let's do that as quickly as possible. Well, another outbreak. And I'm going down a level. I don't think they follow you downstairs, so... There you go. There we are. Okay, people. I don't think I've got much more of this freighter to actually explore. But it is now just a rinse and repeat job. So I'll let you know when I get to the end terminal. Or if I die. Okay, chums. Well, I've, I've reached another master console right here. And there is a teleporter right next to this that I can turn on like so. Let's interact with this. Unlock a gate. Doesn't matter which option you select there. It does the same thing. And this is where you get the final law. It tells you exactly what happened when you read the captain's log. Data stamp. Corvax Echoes witnessed the great disconnection. One of few. The times of slavery, war, peace. All of them passed. Sometimes this is quite good stuff. I go to see the Gek. Data stamp. All the, all the new and melted from the Gek vessels. And they enter the system and face our own. We've come to discuss our treaty once more. This isn't going to go well. Cool. We met within the shadow of the monolith. It's our way. We wait for the sign from the Atlas. We wait for command to change. None comes. The Gek will postpone their decision once more. They will not return the metal of my friends. Not yet. I go to see the Gek. We'll come discuss our treaty once more. Okay. I, I guess that didn't go too well for them. Okay, right. Um, well, obviously. You know, it's this now. Okay, there's a data stamp over there. I don't need any more. I've got the captain's log. So you know what? Let's just get out of this hell hole. Okay, right. I've popped a nest again. Let's go through this door. This is the final door. Might as well get rid of these freaking things. Uh, yeah, I hit one of those up. There is quite a lot more loot to be had out of here. I haven't gone to town with all the loot. I mean, yeah, I do and I don't need it. You know what I mean? It's one of those. I'll just grab what I see. And we go over to the final bulkhead. Here you go. And there's the final teleporter to get myself back to the entrance. Right, let's see what reward I get from this thing. Um, I'm going to go to a fabricate technology upgrade just in case we do get a freighter, which we might, we might not. And it's a pretty crud one anyway. All right, all that hard work for very little. Again, the rewards are very sort of random generated. It, they don't really get linked to how hard the actual freighter was. Now, I'd say that was quite a hard derelict freighter. It should have had an S class in there or an A class at the very least because that was... That was not an easy one by any stretch of the imagination. Right, okay, well, let's take on off then. 
and also the time sink into them it takes ages because you can't run in them or anything like that you, you've got to move slowly bit of a bit of a jaunt that anyway there we go but it's 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 a welcome distraction and you can get a lot of base parts inside of actual game from those derelict craters that you can't get anywhere else so you know there is that hold on what it just i just got a whole freighter given to me all right yeah we'll have that thank you very much brilliant okay uh okay um well i might as well install that even though it is cack okay it's out of range all right bye once you got given a freighter well that was interesting Okay, drift towards infinity. Approach the void. Well, how do we do that then? No, oh, we just pulse. All right, let's do that then. Boom. And we're off. Mm, okay. Is it just going to be another nebula that appears? Is that what I'm going to see now? We've already done this once. Mm. Is that it? Do I stop pulse? Oh, here we go. I ease the ship out of pulse flight and gently take my hands from the controls. The ship drifts slowly, uncommanded. There is no danger here. There is no anything here. Yeah, it's another nebula, isn't it? It does look quite lovely, though. The beauty that surrounds me is endless, infinite, breathtaking, and it's so, so far away. I cannot allow myself to really see it, to let my mind look directly at it terrifying entirety it is far too big and i am far too small yeah but there is nothing else in the universe i must face it i let my mind relax and i try to find my place among the stars dream there we go lovely a little bit of dreamy dreamy is that it do i fly into it again What's... there we go drifted towards infinity it's a nice way to showcase their nebulas that they've put in game. You know, I mean, that, that does look really quite cool, doesn't it? There we go. We've got some more blueprints and things that I'd, I'm probably not going to need or want. Okay. Ro oh, hold on. There goes my door, people. I better put this into camera mode. I'll be right back with you. Okay, people. Sorry, I'm back. Lovely jubbly. Okay, so what's next? Then? We've got to go to Rendezvous 4. And that's all of phase four done well that seems a bit quicker than before okay right anyway let's let's do this oh i didn't check to see if my warper drive has got fuel in it hopefully it has oh it has i'm doing quite good as well can we get all the way over to rendezvous four i know the line isn't there but if i just take it off and put it over here is that rendezvous four right there i think it is so sometimes, I don't know why, but on the galactic map, it just doesn't draw a line as far as what you can go. So I just went into free roam mode there and just manually moved it over. OK, right, let's head to rendezvous for. I'm on my way. OK, right, well, now this is probably going to give me an approximate location. It locked onto something just past the rendezvous point. I don't know what. But yeah, I think this is an approximate location, isn't it? But yeah, it took me well away from where I wanted to go. Probably locked onto a base or a comms ball or something. But I normally sort of, as I'm flying in, is scan anyhow and look for something that's relatively close. So I'm going to land here anyhow. I mean, at least I get one extra nav data. Not that I need it this late into, into the actual phases. I wouldn't have thought. Oh my days. It's saying it's miles away still. What the flying fudge? All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'll just, I'll just hit up when I get there. Okay, people, something really peculiar is happening. Um, the rendezvous point is actually showing as being underground. I don't know what's going on. Um... My rendezvous point seems to be broken. This is bizarre. I've never had this happen before. Mm, scan you. Okay, people. Um, I, I have no idea what's going on. It can't be under the ground. I'm fairly sure it's not going to be under the ground. I've hit bedrock. And look, it just keeps, it keeps moving. 
you know what, I'm going to fly off the planet and I'm going to fly away from it and I'm going to come back again and I'm going to hope and pray that it fixes itself because this is this is really weird I thought I'd just leave this bit of footage in just in case you're getting the same thing happen to you but this, this is pretty darn this is pretty odd pretty odd indeed right so let's just take on off up for the atmosphere up where the air is clear zoom away from this planet Turn them back round. Lock back on. Fly back down. Look, it keeps locking on to other things near it. Right, there we go. Look, it, it's not quite on the rendezvous again. It keeps picking up things that are around by the rendezvous. I think that it, maybe it's too littered with things. Ah, there's a crash... There's a crash freighter here. There's a landing pad up in the sky. Look, someone's built a base there. And look, my rendezvous point's gone missing again. Okay. There's something seriously bugged out with this. All right. Um, I'm going to land by this this crashed derelict freighter and hope that that just hopefully this is the. Oh, look, there's a load of comms balls here. I think this is it. But I think the reason why it's gone screwy is someone's built a base directly above this, people. And it is a high orbital base. It's thrown the marker out. All right, so if you're really stuck, I'll give you the coordinates on the screen. All right, here we go. Let's, let's bring up my analysis visor. And let me just take me off the screen for a second, people. It's a shame that I have to do this, but here we go. There we are. There's the coordinates that you need. That's minus 10.70 and a plus 144.13. Okay, now if you was lucky and you've run this expedition early, maybe you won't have this issue. But I imagine anybody that's running this after the point of this video is going to have the same issue I just had there, people. Because that was, that was proper screwy. Thank you, whoever's built that base above this. That's um, mighty kind of you. Right, okay. And uh, it uh, the base computer doesn't even show up, so I don't know how close it is. There it is, right there, look. Up there. I don't know whose base that is, or how you've managed to do that, but yeah, I'm gonna report it. I'm reporting that base mainly because it's it, it could be throwing out this um the mission. Well you saw what it did to me, people. Coolio. Uh, I'm gonna head on over here. Oh it says uh, I think uh, I'm getting close to discovering 32 creatures or something. What the fudge was that? What was that green light that just shot out of this thing? Okay, there we go. Read logs. I don't... Uh, this This is normal. That's normal stuff. That That's... that's Yeah, that's... Don't drink the water, all that sort of shenanigans. Alright, well, I'm just going to jump in my ship. Out of my ship. And um, create a save. In my ship. Out of my ship. Boom. And I think now we can go to the expedition. Pop that badge. Lovely. Yeah, I'll put it down here. I need the extra storage space. And expedition. And we pop that one as well. And we can claim the frigate to our fleet. Heck yes. Well, actually, the um, it's an S-Class. I mean, the stats for that aren't too bad. Uh, you can't really see the stats. One second. Let me just take myself off the screen again. There's the stats right there. 22 and 24. That's not bad for an S-Class. I mean, I, I have got better, to be honest. Not bad, though. All right. Add to fleet. Done. Cool. Well, there we are, people. That's, that's pretty much me done. Might as well jump in my ship, out of my ship again. And then we'll be doing the final phase next episode. Phase 5, people. Thank you. So as far as expeditions go, I'm really quite enjoying this one. It's been quite a journey, hasn't it? Yeah, I've, and the rewards have been quite good. I've liked the lore, I've liked the journey. The milestones, there has been a couple of rinse and repeat ones from previous. But yeah, this is, this is so far, I'm liking this. Yeah, after I finish phase five, I will do a proper review. 
and I'll probably do a separate episode for it rather than just bolt it on to the end of the last episode make a nice short you know 10 minute video or something or even less than that but yeah anyway people I hope you're enjoying this I hope you're playing along at home salute to Mondo goodbye goodbye and goodbye again Crimson ten Clover you have backed me for almost three years thank you so much Thank you from Captain Steve Crimson Ten Clover Ten, ten, ten Crimson Cooper Thank you from Captain Steve We watched your unboxing video Of the 3D printed items I sent you just the other day Thank you from Captain Steve Crimson Ten Clover Ten, ten, ten Crimson Cooper Crimson Cooper Thank you from Captain Steve you body for back in the channel and all the support you have put my way thank you from captain steve crimson ten clover ten 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 crimson cooper crimson cooper thank you from captain And all the support you have put in my way Thank you from Captain Steve Crimson Ten Clover Ten, ten, ten Crimson Cooper Crimson Cooper Thank you from Captain Steve Thank you, buddy, for backing the channel And all the support you have put my way Thank you from Captain Steve